In a major victory for AI ADMK, a special bench of the Karnataka High Court on Monday set aside the trial court order convicting former Tamil Nadu Chief Minister J. J. Lalitha in the disproportionate assets case. The judge who read out the judgment said the appeals of all the four accused, including J. Lalitha, have been allowed and they were being acquitted of all charges. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also called Jalalitha to congratulate her on her acquittal. Foreign Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj and NCP Chief Sharad Pawar also spoke to her. Fireworks and celebrations filled the air outside the former CM's home in Chennai, where top AI ADMK leaders showed up within minutes of the verdict being announced. Honorable Amma is always clean. Clean, clean, clean. clean. She is the most honest politician in the whole of the world. She, she has been falsely implicated in a false case. Now the Indian judiciary has vindicated. Now we, we thank judiciary, we thank judiciary, we thank judiciary. Today the judgment in the appeal was posted at exactly 11 o'clock. As earlier announced, the learned judge sat in the court and pronounce a judgment that all the accused are acquitted and the appeals filed by them have been allowed and the prosecution case stand dismissed. Now, there is no, today there is no, from this moment, there is no impediment for Madam Jailalita to assume her position, rightful position as a chief minister of Tamil Nadu. Subramanian Swami, a leader of the BJP who has indicated he will appeal against her acquittal in the Supreme Court, had filed the case against her. It's a bit surprising this uh, uh, judgment and uh, we have to study it to find out where, where the uh, judge has relied on because he has to give an argument. Mm. But certainly in view of what the Supreme Court had said, uh, I think uh, an appeal is very desirable because we can't let this go at this stage. With this, a case that has banned out over 18 torturous years was over within seconds. She was sentenced to four years and a fine of 100 crores in the disproportionate assets case. Karnataka High Court has acquitted Jay Lalita, despite the fact that the trial court had passed a very detailed judgment holding her guilty of 66 crores of disproportionate assets. The High Court was still directed by the Supreme Court to pronounce judgment on the basis of the non-arguments of this illegal public prosecutor. This judgment shows the extent to which the judiciary in this country does get influence by powerful and influential people in this country. I think this judgment will come as a blow and it will certainly be a blow to the confidence that common people repose in the judicial system of this country. I think it's a time for introspection for the judiciary as well as to how powerful and influential people like Jay Lalita or Salman Khan or Maya Kodnani who have been convicted are managed to get bail, managed to secure these kind of orders where even though the public prosecutor's appointment is held to be illegal, yet the trial is found to be, or the appeal, or the hearing is found to be all right. In a statement issued to the media, Jayalalitha said truth and justice have prevailed. The mood is jubilant, as we are jubilant ourselves, because we have been uh, steadfast in our thoughts and our uh, actions, and uh, as for uh, our party, we have been very strongly supporting uh, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Madam Jayalalitha, and we are very, very happy today that justice has prevailed. And we already made the statement when uh, the judgment uh, initially, the conviction judgment was given, we said this will be broken. The other three accused and acquitted were Jay Lalita's close aide Shashi Kalana Trajan and the latter's relatives J. L. Varasi and V. N. Sudhakaran. Jay Lalita's old political foe DMK chief Karnanidhi took refuge behind a philosophical explanation. In a statement, the DMK chief said it is not the final verdict. He added that he wants to remind everybody about Mahatma Gandhi saying that there is a court above all courts and that is the conscience. Jalalita can take oath immediately and ask an MLA to vacate a seat for her and contest within six months. But she might think it prudent to wait until she is elected as an MLA. Powered by NNIS.